All right, I'm just gonna give a quick overview of what's going on in the shop this week. We got a limited, brand new limited. He's got it in for snorkels. Getting a OEM XMR snorkel kit put on. You can find them on our website. We got the, the big project we're working on. Can't say much about it. There's going to be a build series uploaded. Got some clutches going in the Honda. Uh, let's see. This one, this, this automatic rancher. Getting a 35% secondary. All that good stuff up in there. This is the one getting the, the clutches put in. We've got a Pioneer sub transmission here. Got a Sportsman transmission here. He broke the input shaft. We got another Pioneer transmission in here. It just came in. Um, we got a Ranger 800 transmission. Needs to be gone through. Them things are like a, a gold mine if you can find one. Because his broke, blew the bearings out the case, cracked the case, broke the snorkel gear. He ruined this one. So he finally found one. We're going to freshen it up, go through it. Um, that's the sportsman the transmission's out of. And then we got a brute force. Everybody loves a good old brute force, let me tell you. Uh, came in, no start issue. Uh, I shouldn't say no start. Uh, no idle. Uh, it would start if you throttled it a few times. It is a fuel-injected machine. We ran through the basics, checked fuel pressure, changed spark plugs. Um, boils down to the... The valves are out of spec, which is very common on a brute force. If you have a hard to start brute force, carbureted or fuel injected, uh, one of the first spots you should look after doing the simple stuff is uh, the valves. They, the brute force tend to eat valves up. They'll actually start embedding themselves up into the head and it'll cause your valves to run super tight. So on this one, the exhaust valves were in spec and the, I'm sorry, Got that backwards. The exhaust valves, yeah, the exhaust valves were in spec and the intake valves were super, super tight. Couldn't even get a 1,000th gauge in, so who knows how far they really were out, but uh, basically they were staying open and engine couldn't build much compression if the valves were open. So that's what's going on this week. Uh, quick overcap. You know, uh, the big bill I can't say much about. You can get, you see some parts going down right here. Six hundred watt easy steer, eight inch dual idlers, king coilovers. There's a little something we're working on. All right, see y'all later.